Well, hi out there, champions of the world. This is downtown Nicosia, Cyprus. And we've got a little gathering here with the uh, wall of uh, shame over there in the corner here. We'll have a look at that in a moment. It's about a police uh, beating a young 17-year-old last week. And um, it's not the way to go when the police should be encouraging young people to lead them into the right path in life rather than giving them oppression and beatings. <laughs> It's like, are they Cypriot police or are they Turkish police? Whose police do they belong to? They couldn't belong to the Cypriot children of Cyprus. And today we have a little gathering here, as you can see, a bit of graffiti art going over there, a bit of a, an ugly looking policeman in the corner there, and a little bit the hand of the law there, a bit of graffiti there, very smart looking graffiti. A few people on the, uh, sitting outside the Chamber of Commerce there, the, the, uh, the building of the, uh, the law and order and a bit of a DJ happening over here now. And As you can see, there's a bit of brutality going on here. No, I am a student, not a terrorist, as you can see. We're being treated, the Cypriot kids are now being be treated like terrorists in front of their own police. They are not safe. So it's a very serious situation for the European community to think that now they're going to you know, whip these kids into gear to make sure they don't resent the fact that there's going to be some sort of uh, sh uh, shifty, not proper deal made with the European community, with Turkey. The arrangement for the invasion 30 years ago till today has not been resolved and the European community now intervening to say that uh, they might recognise Turkey as a state and uh, enter them into the European community, which is really not on. The kids know that it's not on, so the police are starting to show the, how tough they can be on young people. So if they look like they're going to be a bit of a, an uprise, there'll be a bit more uh, heavy-handedness of the police. So this needs to be stopped now before it goes on any further.